Hi guys, thank you for joining this tutorial of Java 8 series. In this tutorial, we will cover static interface methods. So, we are going to cover what is static interface method, why they were added to Java 8, how you can access static methods in the interfaces, and I will show you practical example of how to write static interface method along with source code location of the code I am going to show you. So let's go ahead and see what are static interface methods. As you can guess very well, static interface methods are new addition to Java 8. Before Java 8, there were no static interface methods. Okay. If you think of static interface methods from conceptual angle, they are nothing but the regular static methods which you have in classes. Only difference is now you can have static methods in interfaces. So those static methods which are declared in interfaces are called static interface methods. And just like static methods in classes, static interface methods also have interface level scope. That means it is not dependent on any instance of the interface it is directly accessible from the interface itself as an example you can see here is an interface called cards and we have declared static void shuffle and system out and we are just printing shuffle the cards so this is a static method within the interface so that is why it is called static interface method So why were they added? So one of the reasons they were added is to include the helper methods related to the interface within the interface itself. So usually what used to happen was interface did not have any implementation. So any helper method which were going to be used by most of the classes implementing the interface were kept in a, kept in a utility class right earlier now you can define them within the interface itself so you can keep them together okay you don't have to go and search in some other utility class or helper class about the most commonly used helper methods for the interface so here is an example you had something called collections dot sort which is still there so collections is a utility class it is not a framework collection is a framework or you, we say collection framework but collections is a utility class which is used by the collection framework okay that means for example if you want to sort a array list or sort a vector you can pass those to collections dot sort right so this is specifically looking after sorting the collection objects so why not have them within the collection interface so that was the philosophy behind allowing static interface methods so all classes can use the static methods in the interface that means you can directly call the method after the interface name just like you could use the static method within the class you can also use the static method within the interface so that gives a flexibility in the sense you don't have to define the uh, defined those classes so that gives a flexibility in the sense you can have the utility method at a common place and you know that since this belongs to this interface so I can go and look for that method within this interface itself and not look for it within some other class outside this interface so another thing is you Another thing is you have a default implementation of certain method when you create a static interface method which cannot be overwritten. That means even if you declare a static method with the same signature within a class which is implementing this interface, it is not actually overriding it okay? because it will still stay at the interface level. So you can have a common method at the top which can be utilized by other classes 
how can you access static interface method so as i mentioned earlier you can very easily access those using the interface method okay that is number one so for example if the car's interface is having a method called shuffle any class from from within any class you can just say car start shuffle another way is they can be accessed from methods within, within the interface they are defined so in a previous tutorial in this java 8 series we had seen what are default methods so if there are some default methods which are implemented within the interface from there also you can directly access the static methods of that interface and in that case you don't have to mention the interface name you can directly access them by calling the static interface method name okay implementing classes do not have direct access that means they have to give the interface qualifier if they want to access it so if the class b is extending or implementing an interface a it cannot have direct access to the method uh, to the static interface methods of a okay if it wants to access the static interface methods of a so within the b class we have to say a dot method name okay you do not you cannot access them without qualifying the method name with the interface name here are a few things to remember so you cannot override object class method as static method so you, for example if there is a object class method called hash code okay so you cannot have a hash code method within the as a static interface method in any interface okay because object is the base class of all so you cannot have any starting interface method which has the same name and signature as object class methods second point is any interface method is implicitly public just like any other interface method so usually you can avoid writing the public access modifier within the method names within a in within a interface because they are implicitly public so same is the case for static interface methods okay third point is if an interface a is implemented by class b you can have same signature method signature and name in class b as the static interface method and that is allowed so next we will see some example of static interface method how to write them okay